This week on Seminarium, I was reading Richard Newton's post uh, from his ACE series. It's a series about helping students learn to build good argumentative paragraphs. And also Jim Papandrea's post, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. And both of these got me thinking about whether I'm doing enough to treat my adult learners as children. So when I was reading uh, Richard's post, he talks about helping students see that having a clear claim and evidence to back it up isn't enough. You also need commentary, uh, reasoning in the form of commentary. And it, it was making me laugh a little because it was reminding me of something I was working through last year with my son, who was then in sixth grade, uh, in his social studies class. He was writing a report on the Romans, comparing the Roman Senate and the Athenian Assembly, and it was a five-paragraph essay. And, and the teacher was trying to help them see that a good body paragraph needs to have not only a claim, or as Richard says, an assertion, and not only compelling evidence in support of that claim, but also reasoning, commentary, as Richard says, in the form of reasoning, assertion, commentary, as well as evidence, A-C-E. And then in uh, Jim Papandrea's uh, Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forums, uh, Jim's talking about how we, uh, we make these discussion forums in like an LMS, say Blackboard or Moodle, and it, we do it in these closed systems, and we try to make it nice and make it a place where students will be able to come and do the performances that we want them to do. And then the students have to be made to come, and it's a, a sort of they find it an artificial environment, an unnatural environment, an unfamiliar environment in which to do these uh, performances, have these discussions, and so on. And Jim talks about um, as the Roman em emperors would move a forum from one place to another, Jim has moved his forum into Facebook. Right? The idea being that this is a place where students are already uh, doing and making and sharing and playing, and uh, so that that might be a more natural and less, less artificial, more natural, more familiar place for students to do the, the performances that we're asking of them in a discussion forum. Sort of led me to sort of think about what the next logical step might be. Once we've decided that it's good to go to the contexts in which a student in which students already are, uh, what about the context that they, like a shared context like Facebook? What about the context that they don't share? Uh, what about their pluriform contexts that are even that are more central to their lives even than Facebook, um, but which they don't share with one another? And can students be taught and encouraged to create these? forums to create these platforms in the context of which they are a part and will remain a part after the course is over and use those platforms as the uh, foundation for the doing and the making that we want them to have out of which to uh, participate in the discussions that we would like them to have and learning to tie those several platforms together through things like RSS. If moving a discussion forum from LMS to Facebook is moving the forum into a place where students are already doing and making and playing, then w might the next logical step be to, for the creation of those platforms, the creation and curating and maintenance of those platforms, can that be the doing and the making and the playing that we're inviting students to do out of their uh, to do in their coursework? and what that might look like. Uh, that's coming out of some ideas about distributed learning or rhizo rhizomatic uh, learning that uh, Dave Cormier talks about, uh, for example, in his short YouTube video, Success in a MOOC, which I've linked below in the discussion area. Uh, another example is uh, the MOOC MOOC project out of hybrid pedagogy. Uh, founders Jesse Stommel and Pete Rorabaugh, uh, and you can see a link to that in the discussion area of this video as well. So using the learning tools that ideally are made available uh, to anybody doing the stuff we ask our students, doing the performances we ask our students to perform uh, from elementary school on up, and uh, the possibility of taking problems like platform creation and making that a part of the play that we invite students to do in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the doing of their performances. These are some of the ways in which uh, Seminarium this week has me asking myself uh, whether I am doing everything that I can to treat my adult learners as children.